Her Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, good Sunday evening to you. Hopefully you were able to stay cool today. Yet another hot, yet another humid one for the Arklamis. At least the only difference was we did have a little bit more shower and thunderstorm activity through the course of the day today. I just want to point this out. This is our network of I-20 cams. And uh, you can see where West Monroe is completely dry. Other areas like uh, East Monroe, and they're currently getting dumped on by a thunderstorm. So it's amazing to see kind of the contrast. Some of us are seeing lots of sunshine. Others are getting heavy downpours, and that's been kind of the course of the day today. So where those folks have been seeing precipitation, they've cooled off to the lower to upper 80s at times. But some of the folks that still haven't yet, you're still sitting in the mid 90s. So it's still very, very warm, very, very humid. And then when you factor in what it actually feels like, feeling like 113 in Camden, 104 in El Dorado, at least uh, at the airport, we're starting to get that cooling effect from that thunderstorm. So Monroe feeling more like 84. So again, if you're tired of the heat, we do have good news. It will be coming to an end. Although we do have more showers and thunderstorms to deal with in, uh, before really we get to the nice weather. But this is what we have through the remainder of the evening. We do have a heat advisory for those in orange. Through the remainder of this evening, we do have an excessive heat warning for those in purple. But the good news is this is expected to expire tonight. So that's uh, because, well, cooling is on the way. And some of it will come from these showers and thunderstorms. But Lost from Dragger Doppler radar shows that a lot of the activity has, uh, at least for the moment, is now concentrated along and north of I-20. Some of our southern and eastern parishes did have quite a few uh, showers and thunderstorms earlier today, but they're getting a little bit of a break now. So let's kind of look at the larger picture here, all the way from uh, Texas to southern Arkansas to even back into uh, Alabama and Mississippi. This is where a series of cold fronts are going to be moving through, and this is what's going to offer our relief as uh, we go through the upcoming week. It's going to be great. It's going to be great, at least for August standards. It's uh, going to be much drier. That's going to be the noticeable thing. We don't really get cold cold fronts typically in August, so it's something to certainly watch. In the meantime, though, showers and thunderstorms are expected to be on the increase through the night tonight, so future tracker shows them also continuing through the morning on Monday, although it just kind of depends on uh, how long they linger. Some models kind of get it out of here quickly. This one keeps it in through uh, through a good, at least the first half of the day, but by the afternoon, we really should see those showers and thunderstorms wrapping up, and then we quiet down considerably. Maybe a stray shower on Tuesday, but all in all, it will be uh, uh, quieting down, it will be much drier as uh, we go through this time. So, again, uh, here's the severe weather outlook. We do have the potential for some gusty winds as we head through the night tonight. So, uh, with the storms coming in, so just keep an eye on the weather. But again, the big changes come, especially for Tuesday. That's when you'll really notice it as our dew points. Again, 80 and 70 degree dew points are very, very humid, but uh, we'll be getting into the 50s and 60s. So, again, folks, it's going to feel very, very nice. And we're not going to really have any rain chances with that either. So, that's some great news. The one downside, though, is that we will see those temperatures on the rise as uh, we go through the weekend. But all in all, it looks like beautiful weather's on the way. Enjoy it while you can. That's going to be it for weather. More coming up after the break. Keep it here to your weather station.